course, we're not Wait, trying we to Tracy met her cousin, Injin, and they're having a very <laughs> fruitful discussion. I have definitely so, enjoyed. You ask him how his daddy survived in the ark? For the, for no, the not that would have survived in the ark. But if the ark was 30 cubic feet, mm -hmm. that was the size, you know, the size, overall size. You have an idea what a dinosaur would be in size? It would have been big animals. <laughs> that, that 30 feet cubic, uh, 30 cubic feet thing could do to dinosaur? No. Right. So, what are you trying to say? So that's what people, that's what, that make, would make I, I, I want to find out. If they have the flood and everything washed out, only Noah and his family in the ark we had survived. How come we have all what was on the earth before the flood? Because the flood went with everything. Where the new set comes from then? Well, it was because you have to, to come from somewhere. <laughs> okay, I get your point. <laughs> yes, that is the point I'm making. But they didn't think we were so wise or we will get so wise to go into so depth into to question that the water question in the know they think we would have just drink it so the Romans. But there is more questions than answer. Because nobody can answer that. So you mean it's only specifically happened in Africa? Well them time I don't think none of them do know your land beyond the horizon. And they even told even the human they even didn't think the earth the wrong. They think it the flat. So mm -hmm. if you go to five years, you fall over yeah, and all them kind of kind of fun <laughs> If you see the point that I'm making. Mm -hmm. So it's a question not hanging. It's not that I say taking no decision on it saying well it was this or was that. But I want to know if the flood had sweep the whole wall for 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, well, I know I want to. Use, well, I have to use the word repair. How do you want to repair it again to have what he had before the flood? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because it's only the only survival was what was in the ark eh? mm -hmm. with Noah. So for that, then you have to have a peer everything that existed now in the ark mm -hmm. that would start in the you know, on in the world. Okay, yeah, that's true. If not, we have to make it to God have to recreate. But how do you know for a fact that that was the size of the ark? This is what I say. The, this, the um, thing say. The description and size the Bible? of the ark is. That's what the Bible say? Uh, yeah. The, oh, I, I don't have my Bible with me, but I would like to check it. Yeah, see, man. If it said 30 cubic feet. 30 cubic feet. And I'll 30 cubic feet is that would be average or long, but be just about yeah, 10 it won't be that, that he would be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it won't be so that. So how much bad. thing he would all, how much people, how much animal, to sheep, to goat, to cattle, to donkey, to all what exists in the world, plus what we don't know. Yeah. And how come they weren't eating people then? And we had the cobra snake, we have all the bad snakes, we have all the dangerous snakes. All of them was between the people on the ark. We need some hmm. more explanation. No, I don't have, I don't doubt in nothing, eh? Let me tell you plain, I'm not doubting nothing. You just need evidence. I need evidence. I agree. <laughs> and that's the kind of person I be. And that's what plenty of people don't understand my fact. Because I don't just accept things when I hear it. You question it? Yes. <laughs> I want to know, where did it come from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I might be, I might sound too nosy. But mm -hmm. that's just how I am. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ask a question, Giselle. Mm -hmm. What next? Um. You're free to ask me anything. If I know, I tell you. If I don't know well, we get. And sometimes I might know part and I don't know part. And sometimes I might be able to tell you what. Is there anything you because didn't I understand come in school? Because I have so much books, you know. Because when I read in, well, watch. When I read the first doing all great men of color, volume one. There's plenty of reference he give to volume two. So mm -hmm. I had to get volume two. Yeah, the follow-up. Which give you the everything on the Hispaniola with Toussaint Gobocha and the full revolution and the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. if you're doing it, you mustn't do part. You mustn't 
You must be looking all over and know yeah. what it is about. Yeah. Well, that's why you see most of I don't never finish with a book, you know. Okay. Because I want to clearly understand and everything and make And we're making a book of soup. Book of soup. Yeah. We're making a. You know? So, Trisha, let us give myself a while and then I match this chapter with that chapter yes. and see what is the uh, mother call it in it. Okay. Yeah, not just take things just and put you and go with it. No, you can't do that. Nah, to sort it out, man. You said you want to ask Engineer about long ago, what used to happen okay. in terms of... Well, when watch. When I was a boy like, growing up, yeah. you see on the beach there, mm. there was a road where you drive in, vehicle, pass on the base street and bus out in Bellevue, and erosion will make... There is no road now, everything become cliff. Because and now the... one of the main reasons for the erosion is the sand mining. Because they mine out the beach. And you think because of the waves to the impact of the waves? Yes. And now we have more water and more the it on we, you know. But we don't take care of nothing. Global warming. We don't take care of nothing, man. And soon. So, engine where you used to bring them cattle and them across there? We um down uh, where they are now in Sabazan or you see in Mount Rab. Sabazan is across so yes so so I remember my cattle is either Sabazan uh -huh. or like we are placing Tibli we call it Tibli Mountain. Where is Tibli Mountain? Do you said and you want to know where is Tibli Mountain? I'll show you time know. man is you, you look for over Grand Bay. When you're in Grand Bay you see that big hill there? Eh? In front of you, towards the south side? Yes, yes. Well, that whole hill there belongs to my parents. Okay. 20 acres. So that is where you talk about, you could see Tobago? When you're on that hill, you've seen Tobago, you've seen St. Vincent. That she time when you're there late, when it's nice and if you you see the light moving in Tobago. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tibli uh, Mountain. Yeah. You said after about Dumfries Estate. You want to know oh, what yes. used to happen on the estate? Yes, so what exactly happened? Well, when I know Dunfries estate, Dunfries was a lime estate. Okay. But before, my parents them time was a cotton estate. Mm -hmm. And they converted it into um, lime the, around 1930. So that's how you want to still young? I don't remember yet, 1930, oh. you know. <laughs> my mother no, my mother no make child yet, my mother was a little girl. But you said when your parents were around, you was a cotton field, but when you was out, you were a lime field. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got converted from cotton to lime okay. in 1930. But before 30, it was cotton estate, it was a cotton estate as well. So you yeah. used to work there? Me? At any point? On the estate here? Mm. Yeah, I work here as a day they were not guys on uh, their first job I own. So why you so on the estate lime? Cleaning under lime tree, you have a man from uh, Belmont because you used to come and measure your task with a rod. You mm. might want to put more wood. Yeah. So you cut your task. Mm. And if you don't want task, you have a choice. Mm -hmm. You take you take the work. You study my part more than me. But mm -hmm. I for me so. I prefer to do tasks okay. because I like 11, 12 o'clock. I finish my tasks, I could go away. Okay. Oh, so but they at that time from eight it to was. Four. Oh, so they work 8 to 4 and yours, you just go do what you, you have do to do and you go home. Because mm. they consider what would be a day work. Mm. So they measure it out for you. All that they used to do with four parents that on the plantation, give them tasks when they finish mm -hmm. their home. They used to work home for. Home to go away. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no home. Everybody <laughs> didn't barracks. Nobody didn't have no home. So, why you think they used to leave? They used to just, all of them just like... Like they ship them in the going the they go them in the pen, they. What are you saying? So, yeah. all of them just they inside one place? All of well, them not just to... one place. They go a little privacy or whatever. Uh -huh. But is the, how, how far different from them go to the pen? Oh, God. It's just a long building. What they call barracks. And there's all this here, um, and how long you have to do this for take one take four hours to rest and come back out. So what time you think they used to come for the plant, from the plantation? 
Well, the attendant nice. used to do shift from four o'clock in the morning has begun. Doing what? Why do you think they're doing four o'clock? Four o'clock in the morning. The you have to go and get the A and find everything for the animal and feed the animal and everything. The cow and everything was getting better treatment than your money. Eh? Oh gosh. So by the time they done, bright began, you have to be today to make sure you, if it's cane planting, to make sure you plant your hundred stool of cane. Failing to plant a hundred stool of cane per day, sometimes it costs you your life. Really? Yeah. Especially when masters start to throw blows in your skin for not doing that, you know? Hmm. And, uh, and your people naturally can plant a hundred stool of cane for the day and everybody muscle at the same speed. Hmm. You know that they don't want to do it. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, if you look like people are running, some people could run faster than some. Right. There are some that are fighting, they just can't make it. Mm. But nobody must have taken that into consideration. When I put down my, put down my task, you follow it. Hmm. That's all. And if you can't follow it, you're dead. Yeah, man. You take, you take some blood in your skin. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back by dumb freeze now. So, yeah. you should do your task. Yeah. So what used to happen inside that estate? Inside the factory? Yes. This the factory. used to crush the lime. Now, okay. when we bring the lime, yet then when you come in the, line, in the factory yard, uh -huh. all you could see is like bag and lime. Because so lime from the whole estate. And everybody who have lime tree come in and sell the lime. Mm. So all the lime, you know, so where the lime, you have a big scale out in the yard. When you come, you get your lime away, and they keep a record on it, so you could be paid. And the lime goes out all days, lime goes out in the past year, and you're all on the factory there. And they feed in the machine, you feed in the, the, the machine through what we call was a, a window, they have a big kind of platform. And you feed in the machine, the workers with shovel. And the machine crushing the, the lime. Right. The juice going up to a separate place. The skin go in a separate place, the pulp go in a separate place. And here's something that we used to call the lime oil. That comes from between the skin, what we just call the rime. Mm -hmm. That used to separate man. That's the best thing for cool. Okay. Almost everybody who know don't freeze. They have a bottle of that in their bed foot. As you were at you. You take a rub down with that and it make your body feel real warm hot. Oh, right? so they like alcoholado, lime like, culting. But even better than alcoholado because that is the hundred percent natural rind skin from the lime. Right. Okay. Because somebody said mm -hmm. down there there is some like perfume, so it's not perfume, is that? Oh yeah. It smells sweet just as perfume. So maybe that's why they said perfume. Yes, the lime, that lime. <laughs> Imagine yourself. Mm. So now <laughs> You use the lime skin for feeding your animal and so you're making them go look fat and oozy. For real? Yeah, that's food for them animal. And they see the juice, oh. they put it in cast and they ship it to England. Okay. It's in England they put turning it in called lime macaul and alcoholado. They're doing all the processing. Well, that's where the money used to be. The money yes. used to be here. Not only the money they don't want here, they don't even want the knowledge here. Because so, we do, we, go, we were planting it, and if we learn to make it, we'll make it for ourselves. So we just had the, the, the factories here, but we never had the money. Yeah. We never get nothing. Up to now. Because I hear a lot of people say, oh, here was better because we had the so many factories. Say, one of the reasons they say, uh -huh. in England, you get more work from your workers than okay. in the Caribbean here. Because of the hot condition. Mm -hmm. The amount you could do in the cold condition in England, you don't able to do it in this hot condition here. Mm -hmm. But that's poor excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we're we, we producing in the yeah? Of course. Of course. Yeah. So they didn't used to want to give us the money. Money can't stay here. Well, it can't can't well, money. well, what? Listen, when the white man did they, uh, with the, the day uh, they was using pongs. When they live, they live with the pongs and give us dollar to make sure they get free labor from we. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling you they don't resist it after the lime. Get the cast it out. Put the juice. Well, they used to boil it before they put it in the cast. Okay. That is boiler which is what used to be a um, steam boil. It's not like fire or no mm. kind of thing. They have the um this long pipe run to some copper, like let me see, 600 gallons um, copper thing inside the, inside the factory. Okay. It was on a lap, tall stage. And they have the, 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 the boiler outside which you push in wood. Mm. And it have a gauge telling you the temperature. So you have to know when to stop because you can overeat it. So you call that steam boil. Just to boil. pasteurize it? To kill the bacteria and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And when it cool out, they cast it out. And I'm telling you sometimes, one drink the cast. And the cast is a barrel size, 45 gallons average. Yet I'm boatload of the line this. When the boat turn the shipping line this, boatload of like this is to ship out here. We are sitting here. Everywhere your eye could look was lime. Wow. No maybe. Yeah? Everywhere your eye could see was lime. And there was So you remember seeing that? I also pick lime on the estate. So where them lime tree go? They die. Nobody take care of them. Wow. <laughs> well, Kent, Kent are the um, for the, the other yeah, factory too. Quick stand. But when you're talking about lime, it's in Dunfries here. Yeah. And yet, how much three cent a pound? Uh. 60 cent a tin. Well, you see them biscuit tin? That's what we call it, not tin. But we, then, we never that was, had money. But was plenty money because that 60 cent, they had value. Okay. The true sense had value. So we had a little money here? Yes. Doesn't matter the money, they were more small. Mm. But things was cheap. As I tell you, I used to have 25 cents and I go in and make a cook and I had three cents change <laughs> after buying a <laughs> pong of flour. <laughs> Quarter pong of salt fish, I ate a cooking island, a small onion. I it's still had three cents? cents change out of 25 cents. Hey. And that was up to like 71, 72. Okay. It's the 73 crisis. We sent price out of reach, out of sky, in sky high. Mm. We had this strike and strike in Grenada. A soft drink, for example, come out from 15 cents and go to 20 cents and go to 25 cents and to 30 cents within two months. Mm -hmm. Until he go to 45 cents and he stand up before a little time and then he go to 50. And from the time I know soft drink like little boy to all I would say, I was big man, I remember, remember the price raise. Hmm. Matches was center box. A cent? Center box. But no one matches price raise. When he raised, he raised from two for penny, one penny for a box. Two box for three cents, two for three cents, one for penny. So it's better to buy two boxes than to buy one. Yeah. And then after independent, that's when prices really start to raise something plenty. Because then the country put on duty and all them things before we did, we was under England. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to pay duty. You're getting a nice brand new BMC vehicle in our budget for $500. What? No, maybe. Well, I could remember. So independent? I could remember just around 1974. Just around independent. Big and joint appeal? Yes. But a five ton Morris truck. Yes, I know it. $5,000. Paid for it? Really? In our budget. W in Winward, yeah. Winston. Oh, that's where they got it? Went behind I the have some pictures with them. W went behind the truck. And Big and Joe had to get the truck. Okay. But W got one after? And, no, no, no. W never had one. Obad said to W, he going to get, they have truck on shipment. Uh-huh. You get you in the next trip. 
Uh-huh. And when uh, this next trip truck come, Dobby could not afford to buy the truck. But he had one. Where he got it from? Yes, Dobby did later, long after. Talking okay. about be, from between the oh. so colonial he was time the first and to have time. one? No, he wasn't the first person. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I'm just telling you yes. how price yes. change mm -hmm. yes. within the time of independent and the time we was under England. Now that five thousand began to pay just before independent for a chuck. Hmm. The other shipment meet here after independent. And the price you... moved from five thousand to forty five thousand after they put government they put up duty and a lot. So double couldn't part. He didn't cater for this kind of money yeah. to pay for the chuck. You see it? Hmm. Because then we don't belong to England again, so anything. You have to pay you for duty. And all that kind of money there. Government had a markup before you didn't have that same price in England, the same price here. Wow. The only thing you have to pay is freight. Okay. Nice. So when you hear you get things here, it's in the custom that no more than you know. As you mentioned, Gary, I remember you telling us you had two revolutions in England. You had one with Gary. Gary had a revolution in 53. Tell me about it. I mean, I ain't see it, I can't remember seeing it or whatever, but I always hear about it and, you know, and my parents them, and especially my old man. Uh -huh. He was stunned to those kind of things and in them kind of conversation. So he actually did to me like if I did see the thing, because so I hear it so often. Why are you here? Gary used to be in Aruba. Well, watch. You see all the bad things they say about Gary? Gary wasn't that bad man, you know. Gary was a poor people friend. Okay. When I look at the poor kind of person Gary was. Because Gary used to work with Lago. And Lago used to exploit the workers. Like if you do all kind of 17 years with Lago, they lay you off. Because if you make 20 years, they have to pay your pension. Mm. It's Gary will start to form union and stand up for them kind of people things they to stop. So that there's also plenty of references to get pension, to Gary protest. But they never telling us that. So when he protested, what happened? What did he do? He almost make a deal. He had to run from Aruba. I remember you saying something about fire. Because they consider him as a troublemaker. I remember you saying something about fire. Huh? About fire. Yeah, we'll get to that them someday. Okay. Then get rid of from Aruba, get rid come back here. Uh -huh. And that is when he say he get himself involved in politics. Okay. And the other time when Gary is going to plus start to work, he was a foreman on our estate. Mm -hmm. But that was the biggest job there when you are a foreman on our estate. You imagine, he didn't know that big employment or no kind of thing. So he was giving them time. Wait, tell me, wait. No, no, that time construction wasn't booming. Well, construction no. was help. Okay. Most people, sometimes we only pay the constructor and the workers is helpers. Okay. So we can say construction is estate. Okay, that's an agriculture. Yeah, cool. agriculture was the main, main was the main state. That's why plenty of people didn't see fit to educate their children. Because we are paying money to educate to work, be employed way. Same in the estate with me coming. <laughs> you, if you see the point that yes. I'm making. So we have to excuse them and we parents for certain decisions. Even like my old man, we know, you know, in interesting St. in school. We get now work and we go and get her. But not me old lady. She used to hide and send you. No, she used to tell me when you leave me to feed them cattle, make sure I tie them and come home to go to school because tomorrow, please, that is she just saying when I send me in school, she will carry the name and she's stressed with that and I delight it. Mm -hmm. So I used to do it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't used to do it all the time because I can't afford to do it all the time because my old man, when he vexed, he's a funny man, so I don't want him to get vexed with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that time I take my gamble. And yet time when I go to school, on Monday when he go to town, passing in the school and take me. Okay. Go and saw the beast. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what you were saying about the, um, with Gary and the fire thing now? No, when Gary come back here, they were involved in 
politics. Mm -hmm. And then he start teaching the people about justice. They got to overwork. And then England, all this all the estate was still owned by Englishman or whoever. Mm -hmm. So Gary is disturbing the procedure. Mm -hmm. So Gary become a trouble man. Mm -hmm. Because Gary teaching the people them to a sense. The right. poor people, the estate workers who've been exploited for over all these years. Right. So around 53, they had this, would they decide to jail Gary as troublemaker? And they couldn't jail Gary because the people see so much are interesting to him. England sent down the battleship here to jail Gary. What? No, yeah, but in Grenada. He was an important man? Yes. And that is when the, the, the estate workers stand up for Gary and set to burn down the estate. That's why they had that thing they call Sky Red. It's sky Red now? And instead of jailing Gary, England had to get Gary to cool down the people and them because the people decided to burn down the damn Grenade Island. Really? Because Gary was telling them, but you must, you must, in other words, you need to own a piece of land. You need to work for, for tomorrow, not only for today. Right. So you're putting sense in their head. If you see what I'm saying. Yes. Gary was a nice person to the poor people. What? No, maybe. So well, you see, it was only Gary and Blaise. Well, to my time of experience, when I say I come man enough to understand politics and what going on, uh -huh. it was um, Blaise and Gary. Okay. And Blaise, Gary was braver than Blaise going and coming. Yeah. You see, in my opinion, Blaise was for who don't have already. And Gary was for who don't have. Okay. So that was all why he was able to be so successful. Mm -hmm. And that's how Gary got into this deep into politics. And when um with Gary, when he see he started carry this bad name. I mean, in my view, eh, okay. is when he, uh, they have they be, he begin with constituency. Before it wasn't no constituency, it was election of Blaise and Gary. Right. Because I was looking at a documentary with the same Maurice Bishop as we were speaking about. Mm -hmm. And they said before, like how there's constituency and these 50 men going into then, office and make decisions. Before it was the people, it, they the went people, to the people. Yeah. Well, and so it's supposed to be up to now. Okay, so it is true. Yes. Yeah. It was Blaise and Gary. When you vote, you uh -huh. vote for Gary or you vote for Blaise. Okay. Them time. There was what you call chief minister. Uh -huh. When Gary did implement constituency, that's when he moved from chief minister to premier. And upon independent, he became prime minister. Okay. So when Gary, so, I like Derek Knight and them man, when they do them, make all them mystery for whoever, Gary used to cover for them. So that they gave him those power, but Gary himself never like. So that, you're saying that was before independence? Yes, I was oh, before independence. So, so then in Bishop time it was constituency? Yes. Okay. Never change. But then, then he still involved the people, I guess. It did things well, differently. The decision, well, the people supposed to be the decision. The people, in other words, is the General Assembly. Right, because every the last, last decision is supposed to be from the people. Yes. Whatever the government take a decision, or even the making laws or whatever, they're supposed to okay. take it to the people to the last to agree because yes. the people were going to live with it. Yes, I saw that. They say because they after you make the month. laws for the people, you're going, you know, you're doing again. Right. So some the people have to know what they could live with. 
Right, because they say every month they had a town hall meeting where they um, interacted with the people and find out what are yes. the gripes, what what they want, and what, then, uh, then they the make a decision time, from that. In Bishop time, it was so organized that they had all kind of organization. They had the women's arm, they had the women's organization with dealing with the people so they get whatever feedback they need. Right. Okay. So when the government take a decision, it takes the people's decision. Yes. Nowadays, it's the government decision. Mm. Anyway, people say the government decision. Government is not nothing in no state. Everything belongs to the state. The government come and meet everything there. The government is governing the state. Right. It's like them is the, the well, manager. Yeah. Overseer. Overseer. Yeah. We, uh, they're working for us, with us. Mm -hmm. In election time, that's what they just tell us. Let me serve you. Sure. Give me the privilege to serve you. And after they win election, whoever government, that's why they just have to swear in that this constitution that guide this country, I am going to make sure I uphold it because that is the duty why I'm here. When they get the plenty, just forget the constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That is why. Well, even in the Revo time, they really have them, a gang they call the Mongoose Gang. Yes. Isn't that in joke, man? Yes, the Mongoose Gang. So Can they also beat Bishop them. They said what? Beat up Bishop them when Bishop them have been meeting here, they mashing it up there. Like fight? Fight man. Bishop them lucky to escape alive. Many times they man had to run for the life. The Mongoose gang. The Mongoose gang man. Do bother do make joke with them man. So man. why is this Mongoose gang? Who, well, who are they? It's a gang. The GOLP, the Gary gang. Uh huh. What? Like if they so get what they what they give them orders to do, uh, they do it. So that was like what some bad boys? Bad boys, man. They go by Gary and they get fed, they get anything. So them where Gary on the food. Hey, hey, so that where the gang come from? Yes, <laughs> mongoose 